you guys enjoyed watching me declutter one of three eyeshadow shelves. It's almost like you guys enjoyed watching me sweat and get nervous because it was a very stressful moment for me. However, I appreciate those of you who did watch because it kind of helped me pull through knowing that it was being filmed and I knew that a lot of you guys also need the encouragement to declutter. So we are going to declutter shelf numero dos because you guys asked for it. I've got a nice little pile here, so let's get into it. Let's start off with a Rasha B Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is the Xmas Wishes, the Christmas palette they released. I've only had this, I'm gonna say like four months. This was in collaboration with my friend Anne, so of course this stays. The ColourPop Plush Like Me, she looks like that. You guys, that's a nice palette, right? But it's not one of those color stories that's gonna wow you, because we've seen it before. ColourPop formulas are beautiful, but I'm not thinking of is this the best formula ever? It's more of will I revisit the palette or when was the last time I revisited her? So it's it's it, this is gonna be a no-go for me today and I'm gonna get rid of her. Oh my goodness, I forgot I had this. The Elizabeth Arden palette, me huh? I question why I still have this. It was featured in an indie beauty box. She's gonna go, she's bulky, she's big. I'm not gonna use the lippies, like come on, let's be honest. The Mirabella I Love You palette. Ooh, it is such a nice nice palette guys. I, I like this color story. However, I'm gonna get rid of her. She is not unique. There's another palette, it's smaller, that I kept from yesterday's video. We have the same tones, but we have a more matte. So it's more on the wearable side. I think I'm gonna get rid of her. I got a palette from Timu. She looks like this. She is one of the dupe palettes. I'm gonna get rid of her. By the way, I wanna be clear. When I say I'm gonna get rid of a product, anything that is like expired that I've had for two years or longer, that's definitely going in the trash. Anything that I've received and I probably dipped into once or twice, I typically sanitize right after I'll spray with like a little spray. I have a, a, a alcohol spray bottle. I will spray my eyeshadow. Do, 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 do. I let them dry down and then I put them away. So I try my best to sanitize products before putting it away. Those items that are not expired, I'm gonna set to the side. Some of it will go to family and some of it will go to donations. Don't worry, when I say I'm getting rid of it, I just mean I'm not gonna keep it. I know, this one is new, but I'm not gonna keep her. The quality is good, remember that, okay? We did a video of it because I also have the, um, Shadow Kiss by Alter Ego. We have a video on this, and these are basically the same freaking palette. And then remember, we have the Natasha Denona. Same freaking palette. So it makes no sense to keep three of the same. I'm scheduled to do a video with this, so I'm gonna keep this one. And this was a gift from my husband, so you know I have to keep it. And if you haven't seen my video on the Timu palette, you totally need to go check it out. It's an affordable palette, super cheap, but it was actually really nice. Go check it out. Whoever ends up getting this is really gonna like it. The P. Louise It Takes takes two, it is one, uh, one other like little mini palettes. This is the one with the little lights on the side. I think I'm gonna keep her because I've only had her a few months. I dipped into her a few times, not too many times, but a few times. So we're gonna wait and see what happens. If on the next declutter I haven't used her, I'll probably share it with a family member. Then I have the Tres Luce Midnight Deseos palette. This is one of those shameful palettes, not because the palette sucks, because it's beautiful, but it's because I've literally only used one, two, three, three, four, five shade, six. Oh, this is better, six, seven, eight. <gasps> I've actually dug into many, many, many of these shades. That makes me happy, she stays. Plus, you guys told me this, okay? You can take the mirror out, cause it's magnetized. So I ended up taking this one out and she looks like that because you guys know, these are all baby fingerprints. Cam takes over, you know? And so she, this has been her hobby. She's been ripping the, yeah. Chaos Beauty. Mm -hmm. We have the Olimar palette. This is, which one is this one? This is the Spanglish palette. It hurts me. I'm gonna get rid of her. I feel like when this palette first came out, everyone wanted to get their hands on it, including myself. Very, very pretty, but I've had her for a while and I know I'm not gonna go back into her. Clearly, I'm having issues maintaining usage of what I have. So I'm gonna set this to the side and I'll share it with somebody. The Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. This is their Chocolate 2.0 palette. Y'all know this baby is more than just new to me. I believe this launched July-ish, midsummer of last year. This was gifted to me like two weeks ago by Ipsy. I've dipped into it once, so I am excited to play with her again. She stays. And I appreciate you guys' suggestions on palettes you wanna see looks with from yesterday's video. It just makes it easier when you comment it because I can always revisit the video and be like, boom, that's the next palette we're gonna play with. Do the same thing on this one. Let me know what palette you wanna see me use next. I've got the best 
Dressed Lids Palette by Mally. And this is the one that I got in Ipsy this month. Remember how when I unboxed this, I was like, oh my God, I feel like I own her. I feel like I've seen this before. I feel like I have her. And then I couldn't find her in that mask. So this is the one that I got in the March Ipsy. And this is the one that I already had. I've dipped into this one a few times. So I'm gonna keep this one. And this one goes to a family member, a friend, or gets donated. She's literally new. I think I used like three shades out of it. The Dominique Unconditional Palette. Oh my God, this is one of those hard moments. It's a really pretty palette. Is she gonna be 100% unique? Probably not. Do I see myself gravitating towards this palette? Yeah, maybe like another one more time or so. Don't be mad at me. I'm gonna get rid of her. Here's a palette that I felt horrible about because I never even got to use her. Remember how I told you Cami is just mischievous and she believes that she owns everything here? Do you see what she did? Okay. Literally the eyeshadow all over me. This is the Galleta by Chantico Beauty. I'm not even gonna move her anymore because it's crumbling everywhere. This freaking sucks because I really wanted to use the palette and I was sitting here minding my business, chilling with you guys, having a conversation and she was back there with an eyeshadow brush doing this and then doing this. She takes after mommy. Next, I have the Smoky Palette by Nova Beauty. She stays, why? Because she is beautiful. And every time I can get my hands on extra palettes, I try to give them away so that you guys would get an opportunity to use them. So they're actually really nice. The formulas are impressively good. If you haven't seen them in action or anything like that, I did feature them here on the channel, but they're easily accessible over on my Instagram because you'll see those more over there. Then I have the Delancey Avocados Palette. I'm gonna keep her because I want her to try a few other shades out of this palette and I just got it. But if I don't use it again, by the next time that I have to declutter, it's going to the basura. The Saints and Sinners Cosmetics Yummy Palette. Do you guys remember when I unboxed her? I was like, damn, that's a long ass name. I didn't realize that they go by SAS Cosmetics or SAS Cosmetics. I don't know. I'm in a different world, a different dimension here. But this palette is ab Absolutely stunning. I fell in love with this formula. She stays. The Ocalon palette that looking like this. This is their 16 color shadow palette. It doesn't have like a special name or anything like that. This palette is actually really nice, but she's not 100% unique. And I feel like I want to keep her because I keep her for the grace, but I have other great palettes. So Asura. The Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette. This was one of those palettes that everyone raved over when received in a beauty box. She's going nowhere because she's stunning. As a matter of fact, hold on. Believe it or not, I did my makeup today and I totally skipped on primer. Why? I don't know because I didn't need to, but I also figured this makeup wasn't going to stay on for very long. The idea was just to have fun. So I was like, oh, let me do a little bit of yellow on the inner corner. And then I was like, oh, let's add some pink. Another Dominique Cosmetics palette. You guys just saw this. This is the Moment palette and she is going to stay because you guys already know she's amazing. I love her. She stays, 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 stays. Then we have another Aether Beauty palette. I know I got rid of one yesterday. This one is going to stay. This, I. what's your name? Okay, so I don't know specifically the name but this is the color story oh wait maybe in the inside i don't know but i really like this color story i like the greens i like the blues i love the purple it's staying i got the rachel couture golden clove palette she's gonna look like this this is one of the newer palettes i've received i want to play around with it a little more it's clean beauty actually very pigmented compared to what you're gonna see here so we're gonna keep her oh my goodness we're gonna get into some of my some of the Ofra palettes i have these here um, the Hot Mess Mama palette. This is my girl, Rhonda's palette in collab with them. I've dipped into every single shade and she's starting to look gross when you really look at it, girl. She stays. And then I have this one. This is the Caribbean Glitz palette. This palette needs to stay specifically for the shades. They're so stinking cute and they're creamy and they're so pigment. They're staying. I don't even know why I'm trying to convince myself it stays. The Good To Go palette. She is gonna look like this. I know she looks pretty clean, right? But nope, I've actually used her and I've used her a lot. So she is gonna stay. And then the Beyond Words palette and it's going to stay because I mean, hello, you guys know I'm all about smokiness, but I also want wearable, neutral, pretty. And this palette is actually really nice. I wish that the, this bronzy shade was a little on the deeper side. It's kind of light in my opinion. I wish it, I, I wish the setup was a little different because it would be a little more on the universal side, but girl, it's fine. Okay, we, we're keeping her. The Mini Jawbreaker by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, she's gonna stay. If you guys wanna see a look with this, please let me know. Listen, there's something about Hot Fudge and the purple shades on the inner, like I'm thinking Hot Fudge, something like this, but it would be like the cool tone gray 
And then the purple on the inner corner, I think that would be stunning. A little hint of slice. Anyway, just let me know. I have a ColourPop one. Again, that one stays. The ColourPop one. <gasps> I forgot I had this. This stays. This is like their butterfly palette that has nothing but pressed shimmers. She stays. The Ace Beauty Grandiose Palette. This is one of those palettes that everyone fell in love with because it was extremely pigmented and it was one of the best quality at the time featured in BoxyCharm. She was really good, but if you know, you know, and it's been a minute, like it's old. So I'm gonna get rid of her. Then I have a Beauty Vault Palette. This is their Parsiple Palette. She's gonna look like this. I've featured her on the channel as well. I like the color story. I'm not mad at this color story. I feel like it deserves a little more love. So I think I'm gonna keep her. The Milani Pure Passion Palette. Really nice palette, but compared to the other formulas and everything, like if we're gonna be honest, compared to all the other formulas and stuff that I have, I think it's, it's time we let her go. Ay Dios mio, we have a, a oldie here. This is a Morphe 12P. You remember, this is where people would run and get their bright colors because bright colors weren't where it was at and Morphe was doing something innovative by creating palettes with color stories like this. But it's been a minute and honestly, like we're good. Like you guys already see, I have tons of palettes with color, neutrals, topies, cool tones, she's gonna go. The Persona Identity 2 palette. I really liked this palette and was bummed that the black was crack. I think we're gonna let her go. I'm gonna let someone else love her. Here's something that I thought was really cool when I got her. It is the Rude New York Times Square palette, Emira. When you open her up, you have an eyeshadow palette on one side and a face palette on the other. I used it a lot. It's very versatile. You can take it on vacation and you've got what you need is what I'm trying to say. This palette is nice. I'll let somebody else love her though. I think this was the first time I tried this brand. It is the Bell and Argent. Their Plum Premonition palette. Do you guys remember how impressed I was with the formulas? Not with just the packaging, but the formula itself. I wasn't expecting much. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share that with someone else. Fenty Beauty's palette. The day that I received this palette, I was so, I was beyond excited. And I played around with her a lot, as you can see. It's time to let her go. Mm. Then I have the BK Beauty True Beauty Palette. This palette is stunning. The formulas are nice and light, but can be buildable. She's easy to work with, super creamy. I'm gonna keep her. I've only had her just a few months. So I wanna give her a little bit of more attention. I feel like I wanna do reels with her because she's like really pretty. Very wearable, but you can also kind of dramatize it just a smidge. Then we have the Ace Beauty Falling For You Palette. She's gonna stay. This is like the kind of palette that you can do hella pops of colors in the fall. Technically you can use it all year round, but she screams vibrancy and fall all together. So she's gonna stay. Then I have the Violet Voss Pinky Promise. Oh my God, what am I gonna do with you? I've only used like three shades, two shades, three, sh three shades, oh my God. This is getting harder, I'm gonna keep her. I got another Ofra, oh my goodness. Ofra's Lotus Palette. It's very, very wearable, but still, oh. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Cause I feel like at some point I need to like get rid of stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the Lotus Palette. It hurts me though, but I'm gonna share it with someone else. ColourPop's At Forest Sight Palette. This was the collab with Raw Beauty Christy. I specifically bought it to support her and I do like the ColourPop formulas. So it just made sense. <sighs> This palette is really nice. I'm gonna keep her. I know, you're already thinking it. Nena, are you gonna get rid of anything? I am, slowly but surely, I am. Look, I'm gonna get rid of this one just because, okay? The Hip Dot Palette, this is their C-Note palette. It's a really nice palette, so I'm not mad at her, but I don't really gravitate towards her a lot. I think I've used it three times, so I'll just get rid of her. Oh. This is the Cara Duo Orange Pop. Pa oh, I remember this one. I'm gonna have to learn to compromise with myself. I'm gonna get rid of her. I'm just gonna, I'm just, mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. So this is the Huda Beauty Textured Shadows Palette. This is the original from when it came out. Is she old? Eh, eh. Yeah, she's old, old, old. I mean, this packaging doesn't even sell anymore. Like they have it in different packaging and all. Like, like they revamped it. They changed the formulas and stuff. I'm gonna keep her. And that is because I wanna do a comparison video. I saw on Timu a palette that would be a dupe for this. I've ordered it, but you know, everything is like slightly delayed. So I'm gonna hold on to her until I do like the dupe video and then I'll get rid of her. I have a Revolution Beauty palette 
palette. She's gonna look like this. It is the Forever Flawless palette. The color story is nice. Nothing that super wows anybody. I don't think it's gonna knock your socks off. The formulas are nice considering it's drugstore. It's also not gonna knock your socks off. So if you can skip it, cause it makes no sense, you might as well run and get like a color pop palette or anything like that around the same price point and you're gonna get better quality. This stays. And you guys already know, it's the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. Oh, well, I've been wanting to dip into this palette again, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep her because we've only had her a few months and she's stunning. There's, there's, there's nothing around it other than she's stunning. I have another Ace Beauty palette. This is the Violet Sage palette. She's gonna look like that. I've only played around with what shades? Oh, a pink and the greens. So we're gonna go ahead and keep her. The Beauty For Real Golden Hour Palette. Listen, I have so many Beauty For Real products I'm still keeping in my collection, like their lip liners and stuff like that because they're amazing and their mascara is wonderful. But I think it's time I let go of this palette. I've had her for a while, I haven't dipped into her. It's a really, really nice formula, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get rid of it. The Wonder Beauty Wondrous Palette. Oh my goodness, I've only dipped into three shades out of this one. How embarrassing. I love my eyeshadow palettes and I love trying new formulas and new stories and everything. So I only have two eyeballs and a certain amount of days out of the month. She stains, cause she's beautiful. The Intentional Beauty Citrine Palette. I really liked this color story now that I'm really looking at her and remembering. I love that they have the dark brown, they have a black. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful color story, but it's time to let her go. I literally have these shades in other palettes. The next one is the Ruby May Mood palette should i stay or should i you know what we're gonna keep her and her sisters this is the mood palette i also have the brights and this one here is the vibes palette these palettes are like if you want color they're really nice and then the violet voss violet sunset oh my god hold on i'm gonna show it to you guys in a second i've only used two shades out of this palette. i know some of you guys or most of you guys have this we're gonna keep her. I have another Aether Beauty palette. This is the Desert Sunset palette. I'm gonna get rid of her because I haven't dipped into her in quite some time and I think it's time. Girl, there's no question about this one. Y'all remember this Tarte palette? The Sunrise palette, the formulas were inconsistent, nothing like you could get over at Tarte.com. She's gonna go. Joshua Tree Desert palette. She's gonna look like this, also by Aether Beauty. I'm gonna keep her. I've only used her twice. I really wanna play around with this color story. I know it kinda seems what? Color story seems very um, all over the place. Muted, but all over the place. I don't mind those color stories. I find them challenging and I kind of find them pretty. So I'm gonna keep her. And then I have this, oh my good, oh, the little plastic came out. I was gonna say, you cannot tell me that I've had this NARS palette and I haven't used it. So this NARS palette, it is the hyped palette. I'm gonna keep her because I wanna play with her again. I don't remember if the formulas were any good. And it's NARS, you would think I'd remember. I don't remember. Moving on to the last pile out of this second shelf. I have this 18 Hit Wonders palette by Elf Cosmetics. I actually really liked the formula. It's an affordable palette. This is not going to be your Color Pop Violet Voss Alter Ego formula, but it's actually a really nice palette. I like that it has an array of colors, so we're gonna keep her. I also have the Violet Voss Sun Kissed palette. She's gonna look like this. I'm gonna get rid of her. The palette is not 100% unique. The formulas are beautiful, but I have these shades elsewhere. So I'm gonna get rid of her. The Beauty Bakery Sour You Doing? She looks like that. We're gonna get rid of her. Once again, I haven't dipped into this one in like forever. I think it's time we get rid of her. The Pure Defense Palette. What's funny is when I remember being extremely excited over this palette and I haven't dipped back into her. And the shades smell so good. Do you see that? Okay, she stays, shut up, shut up. Don't, don't, don't yell at me. Let me have this one. I have another Hip Top palette. This is their Zion palette and look at how butchered she is. Can you guys guess what happened with her? Take a quick guess. Mm -hmm. And this was before she had any strength in her hands to really dig in there. So she's gonna go. The Lorella Va Va Voom palette. This was a nice color story now that I think about it. I don't remember about the formulas, but the color story was really nice, but you had several cool tones and I was really excited about it, but I feel like I haven't used her in a minute. Nothing is super unique technically. So she's gonna go. The ColourPop Glow Getter palette. Oh, this one stays. Shut up. I know, isn't she pretty? She's gonna stay. And the only reason why I haven't swatched every single shade is because we'd never, we'd never finish. <laughs> we'd never finish. She stays. I've got eyeshadow under my fingernails. This is not sexy. 
The Beauty Creations Cali set. She's gonna go. I even forgot I owned her. Beauty Creations sometimes has, well, no, not sometimes, oftentimes has inconsistent formulas and the formulas change and shift and stuff, so she's gonna go. The OPV Spotlight Palette. Do I need her? No, but I don't feel like I'm ready to let her go because this was one of those palettes that was very loved. Formulas are great. I don't know if everyone got uniform like formulas, but I know my formulas were really good, so I'm gonna keep her. And then we have this Profusion palette. This is their mattes palette. But you know what, we're gonna keep her. Is she 100% unique? No, but you have, these are all neutrals. You can't go wrong with all neutrals. And I've created eye looks just color building to where you guys were like, what is on your eyes? And it's literally the eyeshadow, this eyeshadow palette, packed on mascara and like accent lashes. And you guys were obsessed. She stays. You guys, we are officially done with shelf number two. I got requests for me to kind of gather all the eyeshadow palettes. I'm either trashing, donating, or gifting into like one big pile so that you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That way we can see how much we got rid of at the end. All right, you guys, now it's your turn. Let me know which palette out of your collection you have gotten rid of recently or will be getting rid of. And I know it's hard, Mija, it's really hard, but it just feels so much better when you know what you have and things are like better organized. It definitely makes a world of a difference. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys, I just released a Disney vlog over on my vlog channel. Yes, I have a vlog channel. I haven't vlogged consistently because your girl has been overwhelmed. You already know, chaos beauty, but I wanted to make sure to let you know that I do have a vlog. It is a Disney vlog with my family. We took our girls to Disney. So if you're new on the channel, you'll get to see, meet my girls and my husband, see our dynamic and all that good stuff. See non-beauty related stuff and get to know us on a personal level. So please make sure you visit that vlog, show it some love, show the family some love, and please consider subscribing to the vlog channel. I'm gonna make sure I link it in the description box for you guys. All right, you guys, I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining our family here on the YouTube. If you do not mind, I'd really appreciate if you could hit that like button for me. Let me know that you're enjoying these kind of videos. And in the topic of enjoying videos, I have so many videos already live on my channel. I'm hoping you're also going to enjoy, so make sure you check those out. And I'm suggesting two videos here on screen I think you're really gonna enjoy. So please consider checking those out and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.